Video number two. Let's try some John Bottom beats. Uh, we're gonna try, I'm gonna run through the fills that he does going into the solo in Moby Dick Live. Now the fill I'm gonna look at is the last fill. The, they're 30 second notes. They're paradiddle diddles played as 30 second notes. So I'll play 30 second notes um, with a paradiddle diddle just to show you what that looks or sounds like. One, one and two and three and four and okay so that's how to play power 30 second note power diddle diddle so they're the same as going single strokes or playing them as a power diddle diddle playing right left right right left So what you what what you will notice is that the, the power diddle diddle doesn't fit unless you move it into a into a position where it lands on the one. So the first position where a thirty second or um, power diddle diddle will land on the one is if you start the, the phrase on the E of one. So we're gonna go from the E of one. One and two and three and four and one E and a three and three and a four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. The next position where it starts is three sixteen notes later on B two. One and two E and a three E and a four E and a one. So these are just positions where the power diddle diddle ends on the one. So you have to start it on a sixteenth note beforehand on each one of these ones to get it right. So we have the E of 1, then we have 2, and then we have the next one along is the, the A of 2. 1 and 2 and A3 E and A4 E and A1 and 2 and A3 E and A4 E and A1 and 2 and A3 E and A4 E and A1 and 2 and A3 E and A4 E and A1. The next one along will be the and of 3. 1 and 2 and 3 and A4 E and A1 and 2 and The end of three, the next one. That's the uh, the end of three, yeah. Uh, three and a four, three and a one. And the next one we, we get to is the E of four. So we're coming to the end of them. So if the E of four will play one of them. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four. Two and three and a four. Now, why this is important is because when we come to the John Bonham fill that I'm going to play for you, you need to know where to start it and where to end it, and what numbers the accents on the toms fall into. Um, so what the way I'm going to explain it, probably not very well, but I'm going to try and explain it to you. So I'm going to play it for you first and then I'll explain it to you. So we have the, I'll play the, the, the fill running into the, the, the fill that I'm talking about. So the, the last one goes... So all that is is starting the part the, the fill on the and of four. The first part of the little will be played between the right the first beat of it will be played on the right symbol. 
We got one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And a one E. So we're on the E. And a one E. And a one E. And a one E. And a one E. And a two. And a one E. And a two. And three and four. And a one E. And a two E. And a three E. And a four. So it's a cool fill, it's a unusual fill and every, anybody who says that John Bonham isn't jazzy or can't play um, it who just goes bush bash bush bash is, they're, they're missing out totally on what, on, on what John Bonham does play and what he can play. Um, for me it's my, my favourite fill that he does and I use it a lot in different in different songs that I use, uh, that I play in. Um, I, I start from all the different numbers and I, 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 I try and vary it up a bit to, to, to to not copy it fully like so um so i'll just play a few variations of it um and we'll see how we go so one two three four one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one two three four one and a two e and a three e and a four e and one two three four one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and one e and a Try it on two, one and three and three and four and the one, three and four and one and three and three and four and the one. So those two notes that I'm playing up on the tom tom, did just follow the part a little diddle. So I'll play without playing that at the end because he does that. That isn't the end of it. That is that's just what he does to end it. But it actually goes if we play it on one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. It lands on the one, and landing on the one is the a very important part. And knowing, knowing where these fills start and end can be uh, crucial in, in being able to use them in, in in lots of songs. So we're copying John Bonham in a way. But in another way, we're, we're kind of making them our own and using his ideas to come up with our own ideas. So they're the, the rules of where the, the paradiddle diddles have to start. Otherwise, if you start a paradiddle diddle on one, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't fit it as uh, 30 second notes. So if we went one and two and three and four e and one e and two e and three e and four e and one e and two e and three e and four e and a one e and a three e and a four e and a one e and you can hear that the accent is moving all along. So what we want to do, if you were to play the power diddle diddle is thirty second, what you have to do where Do a maneuver like that to get it to come back in the one, but we don't want to do that maneuver. We want to play. We're just offsetting the parallel the little um onto those specific numbers. So I'll do the numbers one more time. The, the first one. Let's play the John Bonham fill. It starts on the end of four. One and two and three and four. Okay, one and a two and a three and a four. And one and two and three. Okay, so let's play it without playing at the end. One and two and three and four. Now there is a variation on, on one of the, the Moby Dicks that that is live on um, the the nights in Madison Square Garden. And one of them he doesn't play the, the two notes on there. He just plays one, one and two, three and four. Okay, one and two and three and four and one and two. So have fun with that, try it, 
any questions just ask just leave it in the comments and uh, I'm doing it on this kit here today just because uh, my, my drum kit is I'm using it for for gigs and it's uh, it's with it's in the studio so we're on the pads and playing on pads can be very beneficial for just working out things and, and, and not going crazy uh, with volume and stuff so I hope that's uh, interesting um, I find it very interesting. I don't know if anybody else will ever find it interesting. Um, I've always wanted to know that what that fill was, and uh, from watching videos online and from from studying the parrot a little, little, and from watching uh, George Flutus online as well, um, it really helped me to discover what that fill is and how I use it all the time. But I don't tell people where uh, where it's from. Um, I nick it. <clears throat> so yeah, cool.